Hey, what's up, Camp Nerd fans? This is Ian here in the camp, and today we're building on to the digital assistant that we had started yesterday with speech recognition. And today I'm going to show you what we're going to be doing. So let me just bring up the application. In which, as you know, we had just a basic UI, and this is all going to be voice activated. There's going to be no buttons or anything like that. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you what we're going to be doing today in this tutorial. As you can see, the basic UI. Show commands. Okay, now, check this out. How much battery power do I have? Battery power is at 100%. You need to remove the charger. The system has full power. Stop listening. Yes, FRM main. If you need me, just ask. And so that's what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding in the battery status function and which is I was going through and it said FRM main. I've got to work a few kinks out on that. I was messing with some coding and I deleted the uh, username part what I was going to do because I'm going to go into a different method of adding the username in uh, once the system has loaded up and you can familiarize yourself with the system and the system can familiarize itself with you. So what we're going to do is we are just going to save this and we're going to close my application. And what we're going to do is we're going to open up the application we had started with the speech recognition. And as it, you see that it has loaded, so this is going to be real, real easy. And to kind of get everything set up in less time, go ahead and open up your default commands text or whatever you're using, as well as in the application itself, go to bin debug and then open that default commands as well. Now, uh, eventually you're not going to have to do this because there's going to be a part to where you can actually type in your custom commands eventually so you can customize the application out the way that you want and you can just say update commands and it'll automatically do everything for you but this is just to get some of the basis done like predefined commands and things like that so every time you want to add a command you're not going to have to go in and do an update there will be a function to where you can do all that from inside the ui itself once we get to that point but i was going to do a small tutorial and on how to get the battery status and that's what we are going to do if you go to your form 1CS design, you see that our little basic design or whatever you have, what you can do is to add the battery status, you have to reference the system.management DLL. So what you're going to do is click on Solution Explorer, and you're going to right-click on References, and you're going to add a reference. Now, what you want to do is uh, should come up as assemblies, and you're going to scroll down until you see the system.management, which is this right here. You click on system.management, and you press OK, and then if you look over here, it adds it to the system.management. All right, now... Once you have referenced that, uh, there are several different things you can do. You can have it to where you can set up a timer and it pulls it as well and it gives you certain things and you'll see as we get further on in there as far as the coding. But if you go to your Form 1 CS and you're going to come down to uh, your and you're going to create a private void. And so that's what we're going to do. You can name it whatever you want. But this right here, which is I've got some notes, I've actually to kind of show you on one of my systems. And I use these for notes. Uh, this right here, uh, if you can see that, this is about 100 pages of uh, programming on a digital assistant. And this right here is actually a... Uh, 
my digital assistant I first did called Ivan. And which is a lot of you know that this channel used to be Ivan Soft Solutions and I rebranded it to Camp Nerd. And so I'm going off this for the notes. And this right here, like I said, is 100 pages, and we're going to be doing pretty much all of this for the next tutorials. And I'll be putting this as a playlist once this gets uploaded, so you can start from point A, point B, so forth and so forth and so forth. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get back to my uh, notes on here. All right, so what we are going to do is we're going to do a private void. This is going to be private void, and then it's going to be battery status. And we're going to reference this in several different ways. All right, so the first thing you want to do is you want to bring up the management class. So it's going to be system dot management dot and then management class like so and now you can name it whatever you want i'm just going to name it wmi for windows media or windows management instrumentation you can name it mc if you want whatever you want to name it so it's going to be system.management.management class wmi equals new system.management Dot class and you're going to close that off now within your parentheses you want to do the double quotation and then here you're going to reference what you're pulling so it's going to be the win32 battery so we're going to put win32 underscore battery just like that now if you want to know what all you can do with this you can actually look at the uh the Windows management classes on MSDN and it gives you tons of different things that you can pull values from and if you want to see a tutorial on how to use the Windows management then leave a comment in the comment section below like the video and tell me that you want to learn more about the Windows management in the comment section and we'll do a tutorial on a few different things with that but we're also going to be going through the Windows management also implementation into this application so you can get the best out of your digital assistant if you're building one for personal use or commercial use or whatever okay so back to the coding all right, now we have defined the management class is WMI. So now what we need to do is we need to uh, put in var, and then it's all batteries, and this is going to equal WMI dot, and then you're going to get the instance like so, and you're going to close that off. Now, for our for each loop, now what the variation all batteries do, before I get to the for each loop, uh, the variation in all batteries is it brings up everything in when to, and it gets the instances, like the strings, the int 32, int 16, uh, things like that. So now, what we're going to do is for our for each loop is going to be for each, <clears throat> and it's going to be var battery in all batteries, like so. And then this is where you're going to reference the charge remaining. So what I said you could pull this further is you can actually have a timer, and that timer will be continuous, and once your battery meter status like here I have it fully charged well, so let's say if it gets to 90 then the timer will have the system say your battery power is at 90 percent you can also set it for 20 percent 10 percent 5 percent whatever you want and this is where you can get in the customization if you want to you can have it to where it only tells you if it's at 80 percent 50 percent 20%, 10%, 5%, and then uh, that's it. You can do whichever one. 
All right, so what we're going to do first is we're going to create an int, and which is in the MSDN, you'll see that the estimated charge remaining is an int 32. So we're going to put int estimated charge remaining, and then it's going to equal, and you're going to convert dot and then it's going to be uh, to int 32. So let's go down to int 32. And then you're going to call the battery. And then it's going to be an array. Then within that array, it's going to be estimated charge remaining like so. Okay, so now we can call the int, what we have named it as estimated charge remaining. So now you can do an if, and then uh, you can put if charge rem estimated charge remaining is equal to, and then this is where you can put in the numbers. Uh, we're going to put in 100. And then here you can put Sarah dot speak async. And then here you can just kind of put whatever, and we're also going to uh, concatenate that. So we could put. Uh, the estimated charge is, and then we're going to put plus, and then we're going to put estimated charge remaining plus, and then your quotation, and then percent. All right, and then if you want to put more, you could put, uh, please remove the charger. the system is fully charged. All right, and now you can come down and do the same thing. Uh, we're just going to copy this, come down right here. We're just gonna paste it, paste it, paste it, and we're going to remove that all the way through. Well, no, let's go back. We're going to leave that right there on the 100. And then we're going to take that off. And then take this off. Then take this off. All right. And let's say we put uh, 75. And then this is going to be 50. And this is going to be 20. Okay, so this right here is what we have. And you can go through and you can add after the percent, comma, then whatever you want. Just but for tutorial purposes, we're just focusing on the 100%. And that's why I have it fully charged on 100%. Now, in order to call this, we are going to go up to our default uh, commands, which is hello, how are you, uh, things like that. And let's just come down here and we're going to put if speech is equal to how much battery power do I have? And then here, you're just going to call the method, and it's going to be battery status, like so. All right, now you're going to highlight how much battery power do I have. You're going to copy it. Then over here in the bleh, default commands, you're going to paste it, and you're going to save it. And then over here... You're going to paste it, and then you're going to save it. 
All right, so now what we can do is now let's run it and see what we have. We're going to minimize this. Let's try here. Show commands. How are you? I am working normally. How much battery power do I have? Okay, now there throws an error. Let's see what I did wrong right here. Uh, I forgot to use, I believe, the using statement. So let's go up here. Yes, we have to put in the using statement. Using system.management. And then we can just build the solution. Save it, and then we can start the app. Show commands. How much battery power do I have? Okay, so now you see it throws an error. Let's see and make sure if you can see my error that I done, which is another stupidity on my part because I do not know how to spell. Estimated. That is supposed to be spelled correctly. So it's E S T I M A T E D, not E S T I M A D E D like I had. All right, so let's save it. And let's try. Show commands. Show commands. How much battery power do I have? The estimated charge is 100%. Please remove the charge. The system is fully charged. Okay, which is, you can notice that down here, I'll, uh, please remove the charge. So that should be charger. And then for some reason she says charged really weird. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll put it that way. Let's run it again to have it smooth. Show commands. How much battery power do I have? The estimated charge is 100%. Please remove the charger. The system is fully charged. Okay. It's kind of funny. She says charged, and I've got it spelled charged. So, I mean, that's something you can, uh, I guess it's the voice that you use, things like that. But this is how you implement battery status. And like I said, there's tons of other stuff you can use with the Windows management. So if you like the tutorial, be sure to like. And if you're a new visitor watching this, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the like and leave a comment section below saying that you like it. And this is Ian. And always remember, keep it nerdy in the camp. And I will see y'all guys in the next tutorial. Oh,